So in this video, we're gonna take a look at how I made this and this for my Mono Price Select Mini. So stay tuned. Hey, what's up guys? RJ here, back with another video. So as you can see, we're kind of in my closet here and we're going to be taking a look at my Mono Price Select Mini. So as you can see, I'm doing some modifications to it. As a matter of fact, I'm actually modifying both my printers, my FlashForge Creator Pro and my Mono Price Select Mini. I am switching both printers over to OctoPrint for command and control, and I have switched both bed surfaces over to PEI definitely topics for future videos but in this video I want to take a look at this guy this webcam slash GoPro mount for the select mini and in specifically I want to talk about open source and uh, people sharing files so you know I'm basically a parrot you know I don't really have any strong talents or skills or experience when it comes to well most things but in this case you know design work CAD work I'm, I've got a year and a half two years into this so I in many cases rely on the foundation laid by those much more talented far better designers than myself and in this case there are three completely separate designers involved that um, saw fit to share their files open source for other people to use and and to build upon so this profile was from one very talented individual that I built upon it now the angle mount here was uh, you know my work from scratch this swivel GoPro swivel mount was by another very talented individual just I just modified it again to make it work in my application and then this straight piece was again uh, designed originally by you know another very talented gentleman so with those pieces and those foundations laid, I was able to very quickly and quite frankly, easily kind of get my little project completed. So this video goes out to you guys. Those of you who have laid the foundation for people like me, thank you. Thank you very much for sharing your work, your time, your energy, sometimes your blood and your sweat uh, for others to use and to build upon. Without you guys, um, people like me, um, in many cases, just simply would not be able to do the things that we can do. So with that, let's go ahead into Fusion 360 and in a kind of quick time-lapse kind of way. <laughs> Does that make sense? Anyway, yeah. I want to show you how I was able to take these three very talented individuals work and kind of bend it and mold it and shape it uh, for use in my own application. Okay, so without further ado, let's go ahead right to it. Okay, so I'm using the profile side made by FDM Guru as my template. Basically, I just took the STL file, manipulated, cleaned up some of the faces, and I'll link a video in on how to do that with simple STLs in Fusion. Here I'm just kind of using the line tool to measure off uh, the profile of what I'm gonna do here. And um, yeah, so at this point, I'm trying not to constrain anything just so I can move things a lot easier. And uh, so at this point, measuring some stuff off, I realized that I need some more material over there. So when I use a washer and all, so I use the spline tool, kind of add some stuff, delete that out with the cut tool, kind of manipulating the splines, which I just hate doing. I, I suck at it so bad, I just don't like doing it. And 
doing the same to the top add some material there and uh, once I did that use a cut tool to remove that section kind of just straightening things up here trying by just by sight seeing if I think it'll work of course I, I never really know if it's gonna work until it's printed so here I am deciding whether to extrude this away from the printer or extrude this toward the printer as you see right here but I decided as you see to extrude away from it I figured it would be plenty strong enough so at this point once I got that profile mount created I need to build a shelf for the riser so here I am just kind of getting an idea measuring off some dimensions kind of just again nothing's constrained here I'm just kind of doing this nilly willy freehand here so I get the shelf where I think it's going to be do a little fillet work come back and um, lay down a sketch on the face of it then for the riser I just uh, create a rectangle here again um, not constrained just dimensions I think will work as you'll see I, I changed them a bunch of times and then from here I will extrude of course upward to create that riser and here I'm, tr I'm trying to use the draft tool I, I suck at this tool I'm, I just have a hard time getting my mind around it so I gotta fiddle with it a lot but eventually I get it and uh, it's trying to work out the angles right here with along with the height I'd rather do that now than later but of course I wind up I think changing it again anyway so so once I get that done um, kind of remeasure here do a little fillet work and then I move on to bringing in the GoPro swivel and straight piece the GoPro swivel was of course created by KC, K, sorry KS customs and the straight piece from uh, by Daniel Noray so here I'm just kind of maneuvering things placing things uh, and of course by the way um, KS Customs and um, uh, Daniel Noray provided the, the step file, so it just made things so much easier. Didn't have to mess around with uh, STLs. So here I'm just kind of lining things up, just by eye, nothing, nothing special here. And then uh, I start working on, you know, doing some renaming, tidying things up. So at this point, I need to, to lay a sketch down on the riser after I get things named up here and uh, I do that create some construction lines for my first hole and uh, kind of measuring that off trying to decide which way to go with it of course once I get that done uh, I need to place some some uh, threads there so I uh, as you can see I think right here yeah I had some threads nothing special and then uh, of course I come back and decide that I'm going to recess this area so the bulge recess but I'm not sure what I was thinking messing around here I, I, I soon realized that I needed to create an offset plane so that's exactly what I did here created an offset plane create a sketch on that offset and then uh, just extruded cut downward to create my uh, my hole for the head of the uh, screw again nothing's constrained here so I can easily move it around as you will see that I'm doing here measuring that off so that's now constrained to that dimension but uh, I need to of course now constrain that one so I did that and I believe at this point I am measuring up for the swivel mount and I believe if I'm not mistaken I have to move that around some more and uh, finally constrain that to that center there. So here I'm measuring up, making sure my dimensions are correct. And I guess, yeah, redoing that hole there. So uh, eventually we come back to the swivel mount here. And because I want to use four millimeter um, screws, I need to add some material to, to not only the swivel mount but also to the straight piece so that's exactly what I'm doing here just adding this material and again added some materials for the the screw nut here 
and uh, getting things lined up. So right here, I know I need to add some materials for this hole. And so I thought, okay, I'll do that. I'll just bring it to that edge. And as you can see here, uh, after I check everything here and re remeasure my, uh, my uh, add my material there, I soon realized that I goofed and that I, of course, made a tube in there. So I can't do that. So I wound up just simply deleting that out and creating the fill on each one of those um, pieces there. Now I wind up using the uh, the uh, inspection analysis tool, so I could just, as you can see, simply go to each one. Makes it made it a whole lot easier than having to fight in that little space. So I kind of get it mounted up there. Since I got my new hole, I'm going to go ahead and put my hole for the swivel mount. And of course, once that's done, and I create my threads as long as possible, give uh, uh, everyone a an option for their uh, mount. I recessed this riser into the base so it wouldn't move. And here I am just increasing the tolerances because this is uh, going to be printed in ABS especially. So I'm just increasing. You see the mistake there? We'll come back to that. So here I am just kind of getting a view for everything, seeing if everything looks okay. I'm beginning to add the material I needed for the straight piece. So I could use it with a uh, four millimeter screws and that's what I'm doing here kind of making sure everything looks and fits okay we're doing some re uh, reverting here I had to go in and break the, the chain the link between all of them so I could combine everything I couldn't figure out a way to combine because they were linked so I just broke the links and you can combine them so at this point I drop everything into simplify 3d and as I'm moving about, getting things situated, I see my error, and it's right there. So I have to, of course, get rid of those threads, and that was easy, and just did that, and, and then there we go, we fixed them. So I also do a little more modification uh, after looking at it a little more. Now I'm coming back here because I, after the print, I needed to... Um, do a little more work here did some fillet work and i had to in uh, increase this is i'm sorry this is the print after this print so i printed these and realized i had some tolerance issues so of course um we're taking a look at the uh layer by layer here so i come back into fusion and i need to increase the tolerance on this right here so that's what i'm doing here and then boom, I realized I got a problem. As you can see in that corner, I got an open space. So I'm sitting here figuring out what to do with it, not really realizing that, well, I finally realized it, but after a bunch of messing around, that I could, because I didn't want to change where the sketch was, that I could just reduce the fillet. And uh, as you see, I figured it out right there and that fixed the problem. So I also add some, uh, I tried fillet first here, but then just ended up with a chamfer uh, to give it some strength along that edge line. Probably didn't need it, but uh, I just wanted to, after the print, I thought it would be good. So here, taking a look at everything again, final lineup. I noticed that I needed to change. Oh, I decided that I wanted the bolt to recess in. So that's what I'm doing here, just cutting away some material. And the first time you saw it didn't work, but the second time it did. I'm not sure what I did wrong, but. So yeah, and then uh, I think I uh, just kind of changed a couple dimensions here. I think I opened this up a little bit, yeah. The, the nut wouldn't fit. And uh, I think at that point, I decided that I needed this longer. So I just created a, um, uh, um, a plane here for a cutting Owen. And I'm just gonna cut this model straight down that seam, that solid piece, split the model, kind of move that end piece where I wanted it and then just extrude to it. Of course, since Daniel did such a fantastic job modeling, I figured I'd just keep up with it and uh, add some uh, symmetric holes here. So that's exactly what I did. He did such a fantastic job, I, I just couldn't leave it the way it was. Not necessary, but you know how it is. 
So that's the finished one. So at that point, I'm looking at everything and I thought, oh, you know what? I need to create one that is, um, that's mirrored. So I do the same thing. Uh, I cut it and then just copy it and flip it and then kind of line it up with where the other one was and just do it by eye, which the uh, designers out there are probably cringing. But it worked out great and I just, once that was done, uh, extended it to it so I knew the sizes were identical. And I didn't bother to do the holes on this one. So, and just saving it to file. So at this point, um, I'm just checking everything and it looks good. Okay guys, that about wraps this video up. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, consider doing so. If you have any questions or concerns, you can leave them in the comments below. Okay guys, so until next time, take care. I've got quite a mess going on here. Anyhow, here is a look at a future project. Let's take a look in here. What do we got? Some end stops, some bolts, some screws, some belts, a display, motor, controller, mega Arduino, plate, battery holder, stepper motor. Hmm. So do you think you know what I'm going to build? If so, leave it in the comments. All right. See you guys.